This past year in Afghanistan was the deadliest yet for American troops. Seven years into this war, U.S. commanders from Kabul to Washington are pleading for more soldiers, exposing an uncomfortable truth. There aren't enough troops on the ground to get the job done. Tonight, we're going to tell you about a small group of American soldiers who deal every day with that reality under the worst of circumstances. We lived with them for a month on a small forward operating base in eastern Afghanistan, not far from the Pakistani border. This is where the real fight against America's avowed enemy, Al-Qaeda, is happening, in canyon valleys and jagged mountain hideouts, which, as we witnessed, are crawling with enemy fighters. There is a reason the base we travel to is called Wilderness, because it's in the middle of nowhere, nothing but desolate mountains stretching endlessly into the distance. Until you drop onto this tiny patch of ground, not much bigger than a football field, in the heart of enemy territory. I thought it was going to be a little bit quieter here, but we landed in a hornet's nest when we got here. When 27-year-old Staff Sergeant Jake Shalareth and 33-year-old Sergeant First Class Anthony Barnes were sent to Afghanistan, they thought the fight was mostly over. Did either of you think when you landed here that you would be landing in a hornet's nest? No, not at all. I guess I really didn't know what to expect when I got here. I'd never been here before. I'd only been to Iraq. And you didn't, you didn't hear too much about Afghanistan on the news. It was all about uh, Iraq. Iraq yeah. And uh, boy, the roles are reversed. Yeah, reversed. And now it's all about here. It's all about here because the fight in Afghanistan is worse than ever. This tiny base has been hit by rockets and mortars at least 30 times since these soldiers arrived in March. And that's only part of it. Sergeant Barnes, Sergeant Shalareth, and their fellow soldiers from the 101st Airborne Division have survived 20 ambushes on their patrols. American casualties are highest here in the east, where they're fighting an Afghan warlord, Jalaluddin Haqqani, and his son, who are closely allied to al-Qaeda and share al-Qaeda's goal of driving America out of Afghanistan. They've also publicly stated that targeting the base is one of their top priorities. The base commander, 29-year-old Captain Thomas Kilbride, has seen more combat than any of his soldiers, constantly deployed since 9-11. Has it changed much, Afghanistan? This is your third time here. In regards to enemy activity, I think it's increased. Their mission here for one year is to protect this road, the only direct link between the east and the capital, Kabul. The road is a livelihood for everybody. Uh, it's, a, it's a line that connects the rest of uh, Afghanistan. It's a bloodline, an opportunity for all of Afghanistan to kind of develop. Part of that development is a planned $122 million project to rebuild the road, paid for by U.S. taxpayers. The enemy doesn't want to see that happen, so Captain Kilbride is unrelenting about going after them. And doing that here means getting up every day to face these mountains, every inch of them enemy territory. Oh, shit. You good? Yeah. How bad is this area? Uh, it's it's uh, one of our worst areas. They have the advantage. They know this terrain uh, more than we do. It often takes eight hours or more of climbing to 10,000 feet even if they don't find the enemy, just to let them know they're not out of reach. Another day in paradise. No matter how many of these things you climb, this still sucks just as bad. The first time I did it, I thought I was going to die. Because I'm from the East Coast, I'm from the South. The highest mountain we got is 5,000 feet. The terrain here will kick your ass. I mean, it's, it's not a joke. You, know, you can feel it in your lungs, feel it. You get that, that feeling in your chest when you're like, Whew. Every day. Every day, yeah. On this mission, after a steep, at times vertical climb to the top of the mountain to search for a weapons cache, they found nothing. Dry hole. We move back down the hill and we uh, continue mission. The terrain and the enemy here are relentless. You never let your guard down? I can't. Security is a must around here. Don't take anything for granted. If they catch you slipping, they will definitely make your day hard. 